let's begin unpacking Miller 2007. You'll also find in the Twitter post I've included some annotations that helps me to read along. But just so we're on the same page, let's look at the article from the Neuron website. Let's look at the summary of the abstract. We're talking about DNA methylation, which simply speaking is tacking on a methyl group, a carbon, onto the DNA. Uh, using a DNA methyltransferase. So a DNA methyltransferase is a protein that sticks on the methyl groups onto the DNA. So DNA methylation is associated with transcriptional silencing, which is turning genes off, and has been studied extensively as a lifelong uh, information storage mechanism uh, during development. So what makes your skin cells skin cells, and what makes your muscle cells muscle cells? Well, there's differential gene expression there. These different cell types express different genes, and part of the mechanism for turning those genes off so they don't need to be turned off in a tissue-specific manner is DNA methylation. So turn off the non-skin genes, very loosely speaking, or turn off the non-muscle genes, loosely speaking, to have that cell identity. So here, the authors report that the DNA methyltransferase gene expression is upregulated in an adult rat hippocampus. So this is not developmental biology. We're not trying to control cell types like skin, muscle, gene methylation of genes. No, this is actually a process with the DNA methyltransferases and changing the DNA and also adding the methyl groups at the top. This is a process in a fully developed adult organism uh, during fear conditioning. So this is a dynamic, actively regulated process. And that's interesting because it is so much different from developmental biology, and yet DNA methyltransferase is a really important player here. So DNA methyltransferase inhibition blocks memory formation in the context of fear conditioning. So additionally, fear conditioning is associated with two things. So the first thing is rapid methylation and transcriptional silencing of a memory suppressor gene, PP1. So that means it's turned off. PP1 is getting turned off during fear conditioning. And it's a memory suppressor gene, so presumably turning a memory suppressor gene off would make it easier to form memories. The second thing that happens is a DNA methylation and transcriptional activation of a synaptic plasticity gene called the ulin. So activating the ulin would presumably make it easier to form memories. So taken together, these two things show that methyltransferase and demethylase activity is important during memory consolidation. So we're learning about an important molecular level mechanism, DNA methylation, that's dynamically regulated in an adult nervous system. And that's interesting. So let's read more about the introduction, give ourselves a little bit more background into this 